In wisdom teachings through the ages, the light body appears in caves and on pages. Shamans and yogis with lotuses glowing are bathed in light around them flowing. Transfigured moments shine in visionary art, invisible energy glowing in a painting or a chart. While living light shines invisibly, a skilled seer can portray it physically. Imagine your light body in meditation or at the crack of dawn. Now picture your light body at a train station or while mowing the lawn. The energy field surrounding your form is a barrier of safety from the outer storm, a container too for emotions within, to hold in our feelings and present with a grin. In Torah, two of this week's Parsha sources refer to invisible energy forces. The Israelite people, all 12 tribes, now freed from their slavery, stayed together and survived. Headed to Canaan, at every settlement they were thwarted. Each request for passage rejected and the people deported. War was threatened if they walked on that road. The alternate route was dangerous. They'd be seriously slowed. Hundreds of thousands of donkeys, goats, and steers to avoid war with the villages, they'd walk for extra years. As the people started on the long way around, they complained to Moses, morale broke down. Did you bring us from slavery into this desert to die? We're disgusted with the manna bread. We're parched and we're dry. The Creator was annoyed with their lack of gratitude and sent a plague of snakes to attack their attitude. Many among them were killed by the snakes. The poisonous venom punished their mistakes and they cried to Almighty, we were wrong, help us, please, protect us all from this plague-bringing disease. Almighty forgave the unappreciative and rebellious and gave Moses a plan to restore tribal wellness. Create a copper serpent and mount it on a pole. Those bitten who gaze upon it will preserve their body and soul. The snake sculpture treatment offered liberation through seeing. Imbued by the Almighty, visionary art offered well-being. The sculptural serpent with its God-given force conferred invisible powers to the mind, of course. When winding serpents around a staff combine, wellness is still symbolized with the caduceus sign. Another light body example in the Torah came to pass in this week's Parsha about Balaam's ass. Balaam, a prophet, was commanded and hired by the king to place curses on the Israelites as he desired. The mighty tribes of Israel walking the long way around might still be a threat to us in our town. Israelites avoided their roads as commanded, yet locals found high ground and attacked underhanded. A dream warned Balaam to refuse the king's command. Using divine power for evil is a disastrous plan. But money and loyalty won out over conscience, and Balaam packed his mule, ignoring dreams of providence. 
while on the road, only Balaam's ass was aware of an invisible force that blocked them there. Balaam could not budge and he could not pass. The angel stood in the way of Balaam and his ass. Balaam whipped his donkey, insulting him rudely. And in response, the donkey retorted crudely, why do you beat me and speak to me rough? Haven't I served you all along well enough? Hearing the donkey's speech got Balaam's attention. He could now witness the angel apparition. Prophet Balaam, confronted by the invisible divine, was told to speak only God's words, the voice in his mind. When Balaam proceeded, and it was time to speak curses, what came from his mouth were blessings and praising verses. No spells for the king were ever cast. Balaam returned to serve justly, accompanied by his trusty ass. Soul unites with Creator in the light bodies shine. The radiance of our vital force is a gift of the divine. Practicing any medium or form of art offers our spirit a celebration of the heart. Light body describes forces that by most are unseen. Some visualize upper dimensions through non-ordinary means clairvoyance, telekinesis, and telepathy all draw on the light body's psychic empathy. The light body lives in us and never disappears. It is visible to psychics, sensitives, and seers. What happens to the light body when we sleep? Does it remain with us in the dreamy deep? What happens to our light body when we heal? Does invisible energy take part in how we feel? What happens to our light body when we pray? Do we listen for what Creator might say? What happens to the light body when we die? Do we merge with radiance? when our soul takes to the sky?